So this is actually going to be a retirement gift for my mom. And this picture is actually of a sandcastle me and my two brothers and my mom and dad built on a family vacation maybe 20 years ago. Okay, so today I'm going to be resonating a piece which I've wanted to do for a long time. A photograph that's been printed on metal. When you add resin to it, it looks expensive. And it's not that expensive to make. It's pretty easy to do. So I'll just walk you through the steps. The first step, I taped off the back with just painter's tape. That is so that when the resin drips over the sides, if it does, then the drips on the bottom will just peel off and it'll be nice and easy. So once you have it taped off, then you will need to make it perfectly level so that the resin doesn't flow off the side or stick sticker on one side. I have baby blocks and these are wooden shims that I just move in and out to help level. And of course I have paper down as well to protect uh, the surface. I just use an app on my phone to level app. Looking at the level, I need to raise this side a teeny bit. Great, so that's done. Now the next step is to figure out how much art resin I'm gonna actually need to coat this piece. So it's 18 inches by 24 inches. So on artresin.com at the very bottom, there's a usage calculator. So just type in your length and width in inches and then it will calculate how much you'll need and it'll show you the exact ball that you should buy for the best value for that size. I always wear a shower cap just because it's sexy. It's sexy and there's been so many times you wake up the next morning, you have a cat hair in it or a piece of dust and it just is a bone. And then nitrile gloves. Do you match your shower cap to your shirt in your art? I do match my shower cap to my shirt and my art. <laughs> so, these measuring cups, I grab them from the dollar store. I uh, wipe them out after and then I can use them. And look how nice and clear that is. It doesn't matter if you put the resin or the hardener in first. What matters is that you stir well and measure accurately. Well, I would say the other way around. <sighs> These stir sticks are really handy too. We sell them in the accessory kit. They have uh, one corner that can really get into the corner of your mixing container. You just wipe them off when you're done and you can reuse them. If you use a piece of wood, often you'll get flakes flaking off of your stir stick and you have all these specks in your resin, which isn't cool. So now three minutes of stirring. How long do you get to stir for? Three minutes. There's no real science to pouring this resin. Just pour to your heart's content. Now, there's a couple methods for spreading this when it comes to your edges. You can either let it all drip over the side and rub it into the side with your hand, which is what I usually do, or you can patiently push the resin right to the edge. I like using this spreader because when you pull the resin along, it leaves some behind. It just really helps spread quickly. So beautiful. The spreader helps you to be very precise. Rebecca's gonna come work on this with me. You do have about 45 minutes to work with the resin before it starts to get too sticky where you don't wanna touch it anymore. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so we're back and we finished pushing it all the way to the edge and it looks fantastic. So the next stage is applying a torch over the surface to get rid of all of the bubbles. I find it really helpful to have a light nearby so that you can look at the reflection of the light just to see how you're doing. So, torch on. Imagine you're ironing something and you only go over everything one time. And while you're ironing, you don't stop the iron in place because you'll just burn the clothing. So always keep moving and just cover every spot once. That's a super good analogy. I know, it's perfect. Look at how nice that looks. My gosh, that is awesome. All right, then turn off your torch and get out of there. The last step is I always keep little toothpicks all around. That's for removing things like this hair. Even with the shower cap, I still have big gross hairs. I keep lots of these boxes, all different sizes, all around. And every time I like to blow them out compressed air because you don't want dust in it that just ruins your piece. You place it over top. Fantastic. So I'm going to let it sit overnight. Tomorrow I'll come take it and I'll bring it to my mom's house tomorrow. Okay, I think that's it. So that's art resin on a metal piece and um, I need a good sign off. That's art resin on a metal piece, and um, and um, hmm.